Good afternoon everybody, Spider Richard here, and if my cat will shut up, I've got another video for you. Get out of here, Mr. Mittens. Go on, get out. Firstly, I want to thank everybody who commented on the last video about this subject and give me lots of suggestions. It has given me a lot to think about, and this is why I'm making the second video. So without further ado, let us do 10 easy games to boost your gamer score. Yeah! The first game on our list is the amazingly popular and unbelievably fun Minecraft. In this game there are a total of 50 achievements, nearly all of which are incredibly easy to get by yourself in the tutorial world that comes with the game. The only achievement in this game that might give you a bit of trouble is the Adventuring Time achievement. This achievement requires you to hit 17 of the different biomes in the game, and unfortunately is not tracked so you have no idea when you've actually entered it or new one and there is no way to tell which ones you've visited. So as you can imagine, that one's quite fun. The only other achievement that might give you a bit of hassle in the game is the end and the end? These are quite difficult because you have to collect quite a few ender pearls and hunting down endermen is quite a pain in the butt. So there are no real hard achievements in this game, just time consuming ones. But the glorious thing about Minecraft is it is incredibly, incredibly fun. So that is why we have put it at number one on our Easy Gamer Score games video. Not that there's any particular order that we're doing this in. Mittens, I swear to God, bugger off. Go away. Go on, get out. Number two on our list of easy games is Need for Speed Most Wanted. Now you've got to be careful when buying this game because you do not want to get the wrong one because there are two versions of this game, one made in 2006 and one made later. You can uh, There's a different cover for the Need for Speed 2006 and the, the other one. Uh, the newer one is white I believe and the old one has uh, it, this design. Okay, I'll, just, I'll find the picture and I'll put it on the screen. This is the one you want. The one made in 2006. There are 15 achievements in the game, all of which are related to the story and you just have to beat every single one of the rival drivers. Easiest way to beat all the drivers, because I personally have done this one myself, is to just upgrade your car's performance. Don't bother wasting any of your money on what it looks like or anything like that, just upgrade the performance. One thing that can make this game a little faster for you is if you use the bus stop glitch to get a high wanted level or bounty or whatever it's called. This glitch will help you get past the horrible horrible grind of getting your wanted level high enough or whatever it is to uh, take on the harder races and will radically reduce the playtime. So 15 achievements, quite fun, uh, I do personally love driving games, so would definitely recommend giving this one a shot if you want a nice easy 1000 gamer score. Number 3 on our list, Wanted Weapons of Fate. This nice and short over the shoulder shooter which uh, is based on a movie has a lovely 50 achievements to get, all of which are incredibly, incredibly easy. I guess if there weren't we wouldn't be talking about it. One of the best things about this game is there is a lovely little level select glitch which will help you avoid multiple playthroughs, which is what would be taking all the time to do this game. Also there is a menu which you can use to unlock characters which helps you get achievements early on. And although the controls are a bit hard to get used to, it is quite fun. I quite enjoyed this game. One thing that this game is based around and makes the game a hell of a lot easier is the bending bullets ability. Use this at every single opportunity you get and it will make the game a lot easier. The only thing that really peeved me off about this game was that you will have to do at least two full playthroughs because you have to unlock the hardest difficulty by playing on the second hardest. After that you can just use the level select and uh, get all the rest of the achievements that require you to play as certain characters at certain times. Number four on our list is based on another movie, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. There are 25 achievements in this game in total. Best way to do this, I would advise, look for a guide to 100% this in one playthrough. And remember, there are some sneaky achievements, such as finish levels with full health. There are a few collectible achievements, but you should be able to get it naturally just by playing through the game. This one is quite a short one, so you should be looking at a couple of sessions if you're casual, one if you're quite fast and really, really want that game of scow. Number five on our list is LEGO Indiana Jones. There are 50 achievements in total for this game. Probably the fastest way to get all the achievements in this game is to unlock all the character using the cheat codes before you even start playing. 
After you've done each level and you enter the free play mode, which allows you to play as any character you want, find a nice guide, go through and get the collectibles. As with most LEGO games, there's not very many challenging achievements. That is why these games are excellent for this list. And the LEGO games are always freaking amazingly fun. Number six on our list, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This lovely little arcade title was recommended to me by one of you lovely, lovely peoples out there and has a total of 36 achievements. Easiest way to get all those achievements is to watch a collectible guide and then look up a good place to farm so you can upgrade your characters and make things as easy as possible. Most achievements in the game will come naturally, but remember to keep an eye out for those collectibles and if you do follow a guide, it will make things a bit easier. Awesome arcade title, loads and loads of fun and come on, who doesn't love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Number seven on our list is actually a movie I quite liked, <laughs> but uh, the game of the movie. It is Mega Mind. There are 25 achievements in this game. Most of the achievements in this game will come naturally just by playing through. There are also some collectible achievements in the game. However, it's not like collectibles as you'd think. It's, uh, it's more like the rings in Sonic where you just have to collect a certain number of them, if that makes any sense. But yeah, the collectibles can be done by at least level three, because you just have to collect a certain number of these shiny, shiny orbs. So like I said, this game is quite easy, not much of a challenge. All you really have to do is complete the story. Number eight on our list is Civilization Revolution. 50 achievements in total in this game. My advice for this one, look up the quick victory strategy, as there are achievements to win with every single one of these civilizations. There is quite a few, and knowing the quick victory, even on the really hard difficulties, can make this game go a lot faster. Although I did really enjoy this one, and I would advise having fun with it, and not just powering through. The hardest achievement by far in this game is one which is rather chance-based, and it is to get all of these special people. These are the people that show up every now and then when you generate enough culture. The great people show up at certain times and for certain cultures, so if you are looking for a specific one, there are guides online which tell you when exactly you are most likely to get one of these people showing up. Uh, that's what I did, and I needed one more for <laughs> like about seven matches or something, but eventually I got them. There's also guides online which show you how to generate a hell of a lot of culture and get a special person showing up every couple of seconds. So that one's probably the hardest achievement. All the rest of them are pretty simple. Even the winning on deity levels, which is like the hardest difficulty. As long as you know that quick victory strategy, then you're pretty solid and you're gonna win. You could also just save and reload before every single fight. Number 9 on our list is Saw, based on another movie. There are 46 achievements in total in this game. A few achievements in this game are for killing people, unlocking doors and stomping someone to death. You have to do a certain number of these in order to get the achievements and the great thing is that you can save, kill someone, pick a lock or stamp on someone to death and then reload and it will still count towards the total number. So I know there are a few good checkpoints that you can uh, save and reload in this game in order to get these achievements out of the way. There are no real tough achievements in this game, however there are some missable ones like this little bastard of an achievement which is to leave your controller idle for 5 minutes. Pretty stupid I know, but hey, I ain't gonna complain. And last but not least on our list, number 10 is Bully Scholarship Edition. 38 achievements in total in this game, and this game for me was so much fun. I freaking loved it, getting that slingshot and shooting the teachers and stuff. <laughs> it was brilliant. The best thing about this game for me, which I thought was amazing, was I played through the entire story and I missed some of the collectibles. And I was like, oh my god, no, I'm gonna have to go back and do it again. But at the very end of the game, uh, chapter 9 I believe it is, maybe it's, I, I don't know, I don't remember the chapter numbers, it's, it's been a while since I played this game. But there is a chapter called Endless Summer, and you can get all of the achievements that you missed during the Endless Summer chapter. Don't believe what you read online if people say that you can't do it, because you can. Once again, there are no real challenging achievements in this game. Most of them just a bit time consuming, but the game is really fun so you will not even feel it. 
Good little tip is to complete the geography classes to get all the collectibles on the map. This does make this achievement a bit easier and it means that you don't have to follow guides. I freaking love it when games do this. Also something that might make this game a little easier for you if you want you can use the cheat codes. If you use the cheat codes you can get money and you can also get all the clothes which unlocks an achievement. Unlocking all the clothes will also mean that you get the black ninja outfit, which is the best outfit in the game in my opinion. It is awesome because it stops you from being seen by those goddamn prefects that just want to take it to the principal's office all the time. And it does make everything a lot easier. So there we go. Another 10 easy games to boost your gamer score. If you've got any suggestions which you would like me to include in the next video, please do not hesitate to leave them in a comment. Let me know what the easiest game you got 1000 gamer score was. So I hope this video has given you some ideas for games that you were going to play. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Catch you later. Bye!